Hello, as we are doing session on what problems of quadratic equation. So in the last session we have seen that how to find out a two digit number using a quadratic equation. So we will take example number two that is based on the same concept that is how to find out a two digit number. So it is given that a two digit number is such that the product of its digit is 18. When 63 is subtracted from the number, the digits interchange their places. Find the number. So, we we'll, again we'll take that. Let the let the digit at tens place at tens place d x and the digit at units place b y so if we take tens place and unit place value uh, digits as x and y now what is given here is the product of its digit is 18 so product of digits product of digits that is tens digit tens place digit and unit place digit is 18 that is 18 that means x into y is equals to 18 the product of its digits that is x into y so we'll make one of the variable as a subject here because we want to solve by a quadratic equation here so uh, quadratic equation that is in one variable form so we have to make one of its uh, subject uh, variable as a subject so we'll make y as a subject for example so it will become 18 upon x 18 upon x now as we know that the two digit number so therefore what will be the original number therefore original number original number so what is original number is equals to that will be the tens place value tens place digit is multiplied by 10 and your next place uh, digit is multiplied by 1 so tens place digit is 10x 10 uh, sorry x so it will be 10x plus unit place digit is y so it will multiply by 1 so it will be 10x plus y so what will be the number here is that is 10x plus what is y 18 upon x so we will write 18 upon x so this is the original number that is 10x plus 18 upon y now what is given here is if 63 is subtracted from the number the digits are interchanged so when the digits are interchanged, so what will be the new number? So when digits are interchanged, when the digits are interchanged, so what will be the new number? New number will be what? Now, unit place digit will come to tens place digit and tens place digit will go to unit place digit. Suppose example if it is uh, 53, so earlier it was 53 now it will become 35 so what happened here is earlier it was 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 now it will be 3 into 10 plus 5 into 1 so the tens place digit will go to units place digit uh, place and units place digit will come to tens place digit, uh, digit. so you have now uh, unit place digit was earlier y so now it will become tens place so it will become 10 y new number will be 10 y plus 10, uh, unit place value will become here is x into 1 that is x now as we know what is y here y is 18 upon x so it will be 10 into 18 upon x plus x so it will be 180 upon x uh, 10 into 18 180 upon x plus x so this is a new number that is when the digits are interchanged so earlier it was 10x plus 10x plus 18 upon x now it is when the digits are interchanged so 180 upon x plus x so the digits are interchanged when 63 is subtracted from the number that is original number so as per as per given condition as per given condition if we subtract if we subtract 63 subtract 63 63 from the original number the number get interchange the digits get interchange so the new number that will be interchange uh, number is what 180 upon x plus x so 
10 x plus 18 upon x minus 63 will be equals to 180 upon x plus x. Now we'll take all the x term variable terms on one side and the constant term on one side. So 10 x plus 18 upon x. We'll shape this value that side. So and we'll take this value. So 180 upon x minus x is equal to it will be here 63. So if we take the LCM here, so it will become upon x. It will be upon x. Now this will become 10 x square plus 80 minus 180. This will become minus x square is equal to 63. So it will cross multiply this value. So we will get here is 10 x square one, uh, 18 minus 180 that is minus 162 minus x square is equal to 63 x. Now so therefore next step uh, 10x square minus x square that is 9x square 63 minus 63x minus 162 is equals to 0. Now if we see here all in all the terms 9 is common. So we will divide the whole equation by 9. So if we divide the whole equation by 9 so this will become x square minus 9 into 7 that is 63. Uh, so it will be 9 into 1, so 7 will get that is 18 is equals to equals to 0. So what we got here is x square minus 7x minus 18 equals to 0. Now we want product term is minus 18 and the summation term is minus 7. So we want two numbers whose multiplication is minus 18 and the summation should be minus 7. So 6 into 3, 18, but plus or minus if we do we will not get 7 another term is 2 into 9 that is 18 but if we do plus or minus we can get minus 7 so minus 9 and plus 2 because here we are getting uh, minus 7 so bigger number should be in minus so that will be minus so the factors will be what minus 9x plus 2x minus 18 equals to 0 so minus 9 into 2 is minus 18 and minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7. So x is common, x minus 9 plus 2 is common here. So x minus 9 equals to 0. So x minus 9, x minus 9 is common here, x plus 2 is equals to 0. So x minus 9 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0. So we will get x equals to 9 or x equals to minus 2. So since digit cannot be negative so we'll discard this value so since digits digit cannot be in negative therefore x equals to minus 2 is discarded so we'll discard that value so therefore x equals to 9 so now what will be the original number what is original number original number is 10x plus 18 upon x so therefore original number or the required number original number is equals to 10x plus 18 upon x so it will be 10 into 9 plus 18 upon 9 so it will be 90 plus so this will get 2 so 92 is the required number so this is the two digit number that satisfies this condition that the products of that digit 9 into 2 that is 18 now if we subtract 63 from this number that is from 92 so we get 29 that the uh, digits get reversed so if you subtract 92 that's this is the original number 92 minus 63 that will be equals to this number will be 29 so this is how we can solve the word problem that are based on two digit numbers so in the next video we are going to see certain more examples that are based on the speed of the train then uh, uh, two digit numbers also will take certain examples of this type because students are finding difficulties in this type of questions so hope this will be helpful for your maths thank you